Okay, here we have a parallelogram in a coordinate plane. Yay, really fun, right? Well, it's not too bad. Let's work through this one together and see what the best way is to go about this. So we have points P, points O, which are the origin, point R, and point Q. So coordinates of point P are 2, 4. Also, though it's not necessarily explicitly given, points of the origin where point O is, points of the origin are always 0, 0. And then finally, point Q, we have 8, 6. We have to figure out what are the coordinates of point R. Well, how far do we go from here to here to here to here is the question. Well, you may be convinced that you want to use some triangle properties to do so. But you don't have to do that because we don't really care about the diagonal. What you need to do is to figure out how to go from here to here. How far are we going? Well, if this is a parallelogram, this side, oops, actually, I drew it out right here, from here to here is equal to from there to there. So how far is this from point P, and let's just call this point N, which will get us right below 8, 6. Well, if we look at the X coordinate, here's 2, here's 8, it shifts over 6. So we go from the origin from 0, shifts over 6, so now we know that point R has an X coordinate of 6. That's all you have to do. Then, how far up does it go? That is, how far from P up does it go to Q? Well, what's the shift in the Y? coordinates from 4 to 6, so it simply goes up 2. So we go from 0 to 2. And just like that, we're at answer choice C.